Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the Daily Scan for Friday, March 28th, 2014. Alright, I'm going to try to keep it short today so that uh, everybody can get out early since it's a Friday and the weekend's coming and maybe, just maybe, uh, March is going to go out like a lamb. At least here in central Ohio it's uh, windy but pretty warm this morning a lot better than it has been this week and we're looking forward to a mostly above freezing weekend so that's a good thing all right so yesterday uh, GDP number it missed but only by a tenth jobless claims were down so that's sort of a good sign but pending home sales also missed the expectation didn't quite make the number that everybody was hoping for so there's kind of mixed news in, in the announcements yesterday. And then today we have personal income and outlays and consumer sentiment to look forward to um, as the market opens. Across the ponds in Asia, pretty much uh, a good day over there. We've seen a lot of green, one red, and in Europe, everything is rosy over there so I'm sure that uh, they're happy about Friday over there here in the US we're looking at a positive opening so far uh, you just don't know what's going to happen during the day though and gold is right at about the 1300 mark and oil is at 101.73 so that's this week is up uh, three dollars almost I would say we could take a quick look at a chart on that see what we come up with and yes it started the week around 99.33 and now it's up to 101.73 so that's two dollars and some medium amount of change so something to think about there all right we'll take a look at the a plus list and we'll look at some of these trades that we jumped in on yesterday uh, early in the morning about 10 o'clock got in on a bunch of these overnight trades and they're not doing so hot also did not get out of LinkedIn Violating my rules, didn't get out of LinkedIn, uh, already lost a hundred bucks. We'll see uh, how it works out today. You gotta follow those rules. Man, I can't believe that I'm not even following my own rules. It's greed. I'm letting greed take over. You can't let that happen. Okay, we'll jump right into Apple and we'll save any any sort of other analysis for another video. All right, Apple, um, no direction here at all. Just uh, staying away from it for right now. I really don't know where this thing is going. Looks like it's going to open up a tad today. Amazon, oops, Amazon. Okay, we uh, entered this trade uh, yesterday morning on this bar just before 10 o'clock. Uh, it's looking pretty good, looking like it's going to go south pretty solidly. It didn't. Um, we'll hang on there today and see how things work out. Boeing. Uh, just drifting south. That's just seems to be what Boeing is doing. Not a lot of activity. Um, IV percentile is pretty low. The IV is pretty low right now. Um, so we're just kind of like treading water on that one. Baidu, we entered also yesterday. Um, there was some strength shown in the afternoon, uh, even in the general overall market. So we're in, we're having some pain here, I guess you might say, on some of these. We still have a CC, CSSV2 target up here that we're waiting for it to move to Celgene 
continues its march southward. We had a failure here. This is no longer valid, so we take that out. Now we have to wait for another cycle. So <clears throat> we'll be looking for the stochastic to come back down here to 30 or 20 and then march back up here. That would be the start of our new cycle. Solid green up and a hook down. Chipotle. Um, <clears throat> we got a hook up here on the stochastic, but our confirmation on the MACD failed us, and we also have on our exponential 50, we have a red dot. So there's always that to keep in mind. And we may have a trend reversal here in the works. Uh, we have earnings coming up. I wanted to uh, this weekend hopefully put together um, an earnings video and a video on results. And if things continue in the direction that they're headed for this week, <laughs> they're not good. results are not going to look very good, at least for the uh, CSS V2 for that particular account. So keep an eye on that. Costco continues its relentless march down. We might want to you know, look at calendars for it too. So the video that I'm going to make is going to be mostly focused on calendars, earnings, and how to take advantage, potentially, one way that you can take advantage relatively safely of this march down here. For instance, a calendar right here for some time in the future would have been good on Costco when it took this hook down here. Okay, uh, CVX. We have the calendar at 110. Uh, not looking real good. We'll keep an eye on this. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it like into next week. Let's see what it looks like here. Yeah, into next week we'll keep an eye on this. Our um, IV is pretty steady across both of our contracts. So it's just kind of marching sideways right now. I'm looking at the Dow, and that's the day that it had yesterday. Kind of a, took a bigger at the open and then recovered and hung in there for the rest of the day, thus creating this doji-like candle. And here's another one with very range bound, or not range bound, but open and close practically at the same spot. Indecision, as they say. Igor, we have the stock split coming up on Monday. Um, staying away from it because of that. FedEx, we have our uncalendarized calendar. I was looking at doing something down here, maybe around 128. And we have this 120 put. And the max, we can't, um, okay, come on. We can't lose very much on this because we are, I think we're down to like a max loss of $52 or something like that. So I'm not real worried about this one. I don't want to do anything crazy. Now, we probably could pull a little bit of money out of this. If I close this. Now, I would make... I could still uh, save 17. That's a... Uh, Dollar seventy. That's seventeen dollars, and it'd be a buck and a quarter to close it. So I might do that. All right, gold. Uh, nothing going there. We were in an uptrend, and now I think we're going to end up. This little predictor here with the exponential. We may end up with a trend reversal on gold. Google is um, 
We're having a lot of fun with Google here. First we have uh, the calendar here that we've been playing with. And if we look at the chart, this is about the range that we'd be looking to be in for max profit as time moves on. So we want Google to slide over here. I'm just concerned about increasing IV. And then there is the trade that we put on yesterday. The CSSV2 overnighter spaced on momentum only and uh, momentum has stalled at least it did yesterday or did recover some but it's entirely possible that it continues down because momentum's pretty heavy on this right now so we're hoping for that no setup there at all at this time IWM um, it was on our list yesterday for a momentum trade and it looks like it's going to pop a little bit this morning as the Russell 2000 RUT will as well um, I need to move this to the next candle there we go alright so um, still marching downward going south as they would say looks like we have a trend reversal so there definitely is no CSS v2 trade there LinkedIn uh, we're still looking okay on that um, even some of the light prints last night uh, are still below our short strike and then break even is here at 191 so we can absorb a blow up to around here but after that it starts hurting MasterCard um, we have a hookup took it a while I like it when it takes it a while to come down here and now we're looking for a hookup to get into a um, bear call we need to move this target oops over and make it a little bit bigger so that I'm able to grab it and we are thinking that it may end up coming up there taking its ever loving time 3M flat nothing happening no money in a calendar as I've mentioned I think before Netflix is uh, continuing its march down Yeah, they were on my list yesterday. Why didn't I get in here? That would have been a good one. Don't know why I didn't get into Netflix. I think at the time I wasn't real happy with the strike that I would have had to pick. All right, uh, Priceline and a heap of doo doo with that. Looking over here, don't see any indication of where it may move today. No indication whatsoever. No other trades there. We'll look at the Qs, see how NASDAQ's doing. And we're going to get a little pop this morning. Uh, we may get a hook up here, but we are in the midst of a trend reversal. Uh, Tesla. Oh, by the way, let's do SPY. Let's hang on a second. Hold that thought. Um, spiders move this down to here and move this over here I didn't do that on the other one but you can see that it was definitely tilted back up a tad still looking like it's in a run to the downside though Tesla there come on there we go we got in on, on that one yesterday and looks like we got a little bit of positive action so far this morning just never know but um, automobile dealers association of ohio is going to allow tesla to open three dealerships i didn't know that you had to get approval to start a business a dealership in ohio 
That seems rather strange to me. But anyway, they got approval. And I guess they, uh, Tesla must think things are pretty good in Ohio to be opening up a dealership where they're going to sell $100,000 cars. I think they're hundred grand, are not they? I'm pretty sure. But anyway, uh, nothing else going on there except a relentless march to the downside after this, um, well, this surprise move here. And then I think this was the fire thing or something that happened. But I'm not sure they had some fires back there or not. And then Visa. Come on. This does act strange like this every once in a while. Visa. Let's adjust this thing, one over this way, and one over this way. Brings it right back to pretty much where it was before. Nothing happening here for a CSS V2. Um, and that's really it. We're done for today. Remember when we were seeing those uh, subscription, exceeding subscription level or something like that? Well, the reason why I was over here on Market Watch, I had a very large, um, a very large list open here, and it, I do have the um, in my list here. I did have the implied volatility and percentile, and it said you can only have. I think the Thinkorswim said you can only have like a thousand. And I was asking for data on more than a thousand because this was a large list and I had all these lists all, all open over here. So it was telling me that I could not do that. So um, I just changed my list and I got all the data over here and everything was hunky dory. So I thought I'd let you know that in case you run across it. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and a good weekend, and we'll talk to you Monday. Happy trading.